to the soapery. It is Thursday, so I am making hot processed soap in the soapery. And today I am making men's soap, which is a mahogany teakwood type. And it is my most popular soap that I have. So if you will hang around, um, I will give you a soapbox tour in a moment, or you can contact me there. Now the reason why I make soap, the reason why I started making soap was as a fundraiser to raise money for equipping Haiti. So this summer in 2021, we will be returning to Haiti. So if you want to look any of this up, check out equippinghaiti.org. And um, I have made a special Equipping Haiti soap, and I have four of them remaining. It has real Haitian Marengo powder in it from Haiti. It is, has an earthy smell. It is pear, so it's fruity, and it's earthy. It's pear patchouli. And I have a couple of bars of those left, four of them, so please order those right away. If you are interested in learning how to make soap, I do soap classes for $33, and I do custom soap orders starting at $33. And what you need to know about hot process soap is you're going to combine your oils, which is, well, this is what I use, coconut, manteca, and soybean oil with lye. Now I am not, and you can check out my plant collection after my birthday, I am not giving you all the information that you need to have for safety and everything, so you're going to need to do some of your own research, okay? So come along with me while I mix up the men's soap. Now if you would like to order some of this men's soap before it's gone, the bars are $5 each. Um, if you buy six bars, I will ship it anywhere in the United States um, for free. If you're local, I have another special which I'll, I can't, I'll tell you about later. Okay. Well, I have my video helper today and I want to show you the oils, what I have in here. I have a couple of additives for my hot process soap. In my oils, I have bentonite clay, steric acid, and then into this batch we add this... Steric acid? Yes. We add this secret it sauce. Like a very dangerous thing. Okay, Creighton, it's my turn to talk. You can, you can say hello. You want to show him? Give, give the Creighton bonus. Say hello. Hi. Hi. I'm creating a cool thing. All right. We're going to do the soap teaching. Now, when Josiah... He, he, he likes this way I've created the thing, but this secret recipe is oat, oat milk. So it has one teaspoon, tablespoon, one tablespoon of oatmeal in about two ounces of distilled water. And that gives the soap a unique feeling that Josiah really likes. He made some special requests, so I have custom designed this batch just for Josiah. So this would actually be a water discount, so I've taken away two ounces of the water from my lye. Now for lye safety, you um, need to do some research. You need safety glasses and protective things, but oh my goodness, I was reading on the back of this lye that some people feed it to pigs. Dissolve a quarter can of red lye into 50 gallons of pig swill. No wonder the pigs are grouchy. <laughs> I didn't know you could eat lye. I don't know that you can. All right. Creighton is my no, wife. No, you literally put that on your food with you eat. No, you generally don't eat lye. Creighton is my Y person, but we're going to ask him, does he have any Y cards today, and see what he says. Yours is a Y card. Yeah, you don't have any. Okay, so in the crock pot, we're going to cook this on low for about two hours, and then we are going to add the um, super fats, which is uh, extra virgin olive oil and glycerin, and then um, we're gonna cook it a little more, let it cool to 160 degrees, and add this wonderful smell that everyone really likes. 
It's mahogany teakwood type from Steph's Micas and More. So I recommend this very highly um, if you're making soap. So we're going to go ahead and mix this up with an immersion stick blender, which you need for making soap. So you're going to go ahead and stick blend your, your batter until you've reached a pudding like stage, okay? Okay, you see that? It could be just a little bit thicker in my opinion. I've been told with hot processed soap, more stick blending is better than less. So now we're about right about at it. See how that, see how that looks? And just without stick blending is probably... Just, ready. yeah. Fortunately, it's not an exact science or it would not work well for Mumsy. Mm -hmm. All right, now, Creighton, do you want to tell us something? Whenever you're done, I'm going to need help with this from Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe is detained for the rest of the afternoon. What do you mean? Well, he is going to take a rest because he has been going to school and working. So he's, if you wanted to have some Josiah time, you needed to ask him now. He wants to take a rest. So you're going to scrape down. Okay, and then you're going to start your timer. So we're going to go with about an hour cook time. Now all soaps are made in limited edition small batches. If you see my small batch over there, it's one crock pot size. I'm working on a, um, soap classes for you all if you're interested in it, but that would be a much smaller batch. So I'm going to be working on that. Here is your soap box tour. If you would like to order any soap, please comment. It would be better if you texted me if you have my number. So, okay, we have Original Bubbly, which is the ladies shaving soap, orange bubbly. Prices are going up. We've got a few remaining at the old prices because I'm not going to remark them. We try to go with the, we go with the Cigar Band Easy Less Waste Wrapping. We have Oatmeal Lavender Soap. And when I get everything marked, the Original Bubbly is $6 and the rest of the bars are going to be $5 each. But if you want to buy them at this price, that'll be fine. I have Black Eyed Susan Soap, which is a patchouli soap. It has um, mustard seed faith, I mean poppy seeds in it, and it's named after my mother. I have goat's milk soap that does not have any ess essential oil or fragrance oil in it. That's why it's in the bag, so I can just, for those people who are sen more sensitive... I have honey oatmeal soap, which has real, local, um, what's it called? I have to look on the label. Honeycomb. Honeycomb and honey from Cragness Farm. It's a, a wonderful, wonderful. I can only claim that soap cleans. I have a couple of bars left of the Water War soap, which does have, it has a black swirl in it, and that is charcoal. And this smells like a baby, like what a baby baby smells like. We've already gone over the men's soap. I have a few remaining bars of the Love Dazzler, which has a pink stripe, and it is the Love Spell type fragrance. Most people are familiar with that. It's like a, a fruity, it's a berry floral. And then here is my very popular Fruit Looped soap. It smells like the popular cereal. It has a few additives in it. It has applesauce in it and another spice. And it is, it is wonderful. And it kind of has a red speckly appearance to it. 
So that's all the soap we have for today. Um, if you would like to help out, you can send a donation directly to Equipping Haiti, or you can buy soap. Now let me go over a couple of these things. That's what I'm going to try to... Minimum wage is $817 per year in Haiti, or $0.39 cents per hour. 75% of Haitians are underemployed, just trying to make ends meet. There really are no jobs. It's, it's, it's hard for us Americans to understand. So um, our group, Equipping Haiti, has gone to the same location to minister to two communities since 2012. So we have continued relationship. So we do, um, we share the gospel. We do vacation Bible school. Um, we do some feeding projects in Christmas. Um, and a couple of it, we're going to, this is our first year, we're going to have a medical clinic. So if you would please pray for us, we would really appreciate it. We'll be leaving on July 12th and we will be returning, I think the 20th. So, um, that's all of that, but we could sure use your help. So thank you for buying soap to support, um, missions. And this is a good time that I could share the gospel with you. So, see, how does the gospel relate to soap making? Well, the first thing we notice is that everyone needs to get clean. And so, we can't get clean on our own. That's what, I think you could, I mean, it might help just to take a water bath, but soap actually removes dirt, germs, and bacteria. That's how soap works. So maybe you notice in your life that you need, um, you need rescuing. You have sin, you have problems, you have, it's not working for you. It is not working. I would not want to just say try Jesus, but have you ever considered crying out to the creator who made you? The one who made it? Doesn't he know the directions? You could try it. Anyways, I know him and I, I encourage you to speak to him. So what is the gospel? Jesus came in an earth suit. He died on the cross, so it's Christ crucified. And then by his own power, because he's the boss of death, he rose from the grave, whereby making a way for you. Let's see, is that complete? The gospel? It's good news. It's good news. That's what judgment is coming, and we can't stand up to judgment, but we don't have to have judgment because Christ paid paid the way. So the only reasonable response is surrender. That's what I can't. It's an amazing thing. I had a, a bazillion dollar debt, a bazillion dollar debt. And even though I went around choking people for five bucks in the past, now I've learned forgiveness. Go and learn what's, what this means. I desire obedience and not sacrifice. Anyway, so forgiveness, forgiveness is a big one. I think that's pretty close to what the gospel is. Pretty close. Um, if you are unhappy with my definition, I encourage you to go ahead and post yours according to the biblical definition and we'll go through it. So, um, all right. Well, that's all for today. You have your Morris fix? <laughs> I love you. I love you. Hey, Saturday is bath day. Everybody needs some soap. So why don't you buy some, some soap? some mumsy soap. All right. Thank you.